Welcome, Bow Betters. Sometimes I overlook that I've cycled through most of the UFC roster and should be well versed in the skill sets and performances of most fighters in these cards. I have done previous predictions on Dustin Jacoby and Michael Olujeshuk, and I could say I like both fighters. These are not meek fighters and guys that want to bring it. I faded Shamil Gazmatov and cashed Michel Olujeshuk by finish because Olujeshuk is an aggressive striker. Olujeshuk was submitted by Jimmy the Brute Crute and Ovin St. Preux, but he won't have to worry about that against super tough and durable Dustin Jacoby, who has attempted one more takedown in the UFC than Olujeshuk at two. This will be a striker versus striker affair and could be considered for fight of the night as each has never lost via knockout and each has good volume as well as power. Both like the fight on the outside with Justin Jacoby being slightly more effective, but Michel Olijeshuk has faced stronger opponents in the UFC with a better XR number, but not a better XR percentage. So this will be a very, very close fight. This is a tough position for me as I have predicted and cashed both these fighters' outcomes in their last outings. Olijeshuk does pack a punch and has decent defense, but so does Justin Jacoby. Jacoby throws more volume, but I think that this has a lot to do with the meager output of the, his opponents that he's faced. But statistically, Olijacek has a better striking defense that does translate into the octagon. Justin Jacoby does get hit a lot too, but he allows more powerful shots to land and wears the damage more obviously. So the optics are bad for him in a bout that is likely going to the scorecards. Both these guys have servable defensive striking and they are very effective primarily in their offense. Defensively, they're going to take one to give one and both guys definitely get hit a little too much in their bouts. Both guys have good takedown defense, but Olajeshuk has a better control rate of clinch to ground time. Olajeshuk has also better takedown accuracy, but has attempted five less takedowns than Jacoby. Again, this is going to be a stand-up battle where whose cardio, volume, and defensive technique will win out. I think this fight will be set at two and a half rounds, or the over-under will be set at two and a half, and the not to go the distance will be around my, minus 155 or greater because neither has been finished by knockout, although I'm not ruling out a finish in this bout with both of these guys. Both guys are durable with good defense, but both have finishing power, and I don't think either are prolific knockout punchers, but I won't rule out, again, one guy finishing the other. Both have excellent fight awareness. So at this line, I'm all over Michel Olijeshuk at plus 150. I probably will stick to the money line at plus 150 as I expect him by finish to be around plus 195. But I think Olijeshuk ekes out a decision here or even finishes Justin Jacoby as Olijeshuk has decent or maybe better cardio and striking aggression. I don't really expect this to go to the scorecards but it's going to be a tight play but let me know what you guys think in the comment section remember to like subscribe hit the notification bell and if you've made it this far you are about better